Hello, dear ones. I bring you greetings from Trinity St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Hannibal, Missouri. My name is Don Victoria Mitchell, and I am so excited to be coming to join in ministry with you at St. Mark's Episcopal Church. This video is to tell you a little bit about myself and to kind of introduce myself to you. I am so excited about getting to know you in the coming weeks, months, and years ahead as we minister together side by side in Shenango Bridge. While I am here in Missouri and have lived in places in Missouri for almost 22 years, you probably can tell I don't sound like I am from Missouri, and that is because I am not originally from Missouri, although I have been privileged to call Missouri home for these many years. I am originally from a suburb of a city of Massachusetts that shall not be named, but my town was sort of between there and the New Hampshire border. So I'm excited to be coming back to the East Coast where all my family still lives. You probably are wondering about my name, Don Victoria. That is quite of a mouthful and so I totally get it. Please feel free to call me either Don Victoria or Don either of those works. In my spare time, I enjoy walking and hiking, taking day trips around the communities in which I have lived. I also enjoy reading. I love the classics like Charles Dickens and Jane Austen, but I also enjoy reading mysteries. I really enjoyed the Sue Grafton series, and I have now been enjoying the Louise Penny Three Pines series with Inspector Gamache. I also love listening to a variety of music, classical, opera, rock and roll, Christian, gospel, soundtracks to musicals. In fact, in my youth, I did a lot of community theater. So, as I anticipate coming to join you, as I said before, I am so excited about this opportunity to come and share with you in the ministry that God is doing there with, in, and through St. Mark's. I know that these last 16 months or so have been full of anxiety for all of us, perhaps even more so for you. You had a rector that was there for 25 years, and then you had the pandemic, like the rest of us. So I want you to know that I anticipate making no huge changes in my first year or year and a half. I plan to use that time getting to know you one-on-one, -on -one, making visits to you, however that might take place, whether face-to-face, -face, virtually through Zoom or FaceTime. So I am looking forward to hearing your stories in these next months. As I come to Shenego Bridge, I come to you with my cat, Shalimar, she is a Bombay. We think she's about 17 years old. We're not 100% sure she was a rescue. And so, but Bombays look like mini panthers. Their fur is very glossy, very shiny, and she has these beautiful copper color eyes. I have an older brother, Scott, and an older sister, Sandy who have given me five nieces and nephews and two greats. I have a great nephew and a great niece. And so I love being able to spoil them when 
whatever the opportunity has afforded. So I will introduce myself more when I am there with you, but I hope this answers a little bit of some of your first questions. Again, I look forward to being with you and I'm excited about the possibilities. And I pray that in these next five to six weeks that God will bless you and be with you as we transition together.